Hello everyone, Pixel Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest, The Lost Tribe. This quest is considered intermediate difficulty and is medium length, about 20 minutes long. The requirements for this quest include 13 agility, 13 thieving, 17 mining, and completion of goblin diplomacy and rune mysteries quests. The required items for this quest include pickaxe, light source, however it is highly recommended to not use a candle, and a tinderbox. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have Falador teleports, Barak teleports, Lumbridge teleports, weight reducing gear such as graceful gear, and super energy or stamina potions. There are some maps in the description below that help you to identify some of the key points of this quest, open it up to keep it handy. You start the quest by going to the Lumbridge Castle using a Lumbridge Teleport. Once there, head up to the second floor and talk to Sigmund. When prompted, say, do you have any quests for me? After the conversation, you'll want to talk to all the NPCs within the area, including Duke Horatio, the cook, Hans, Father Eric in the chapel, Donnie, and Bob in the act shop. Talk to each one and when prompted ask, what happened in the cellar? Eventually one of them will tell you that they saw a goblin with large eyes in the basement. After you are told this, talk to Sigmund again. When prompted say, someone says he saw something in the cellar. After the conversation, talk to Duke Horatio nearby and say the same thing to him. They will want you to investigate. Go down to the first floor and then into the basement using the trap door in the kitchen. Go to the most eastern side of the room. Use your pickaxe on the rubble that is located on the eastern wall. Now you'll need to light your light source. Next, squeeze through the hole that you opened to get to the other side. Walk slightly east until you see a brooch on the ground. Pick it up, turn around, and go back into the basement. Now go back to the Duke on the second floor and talk to him. When prompted, say, I dug through the rubble. You'll be asked to show the brooch to Reldo, who is located in the Varrock Palace. Use your Varrock Teleport and head north to the palace. Reldo is located in the library, which is on the northern side of the building. Once there, talk to Reldo. When prompted, say, ask about Brooch. Now you'll need to find a book on goblin history. Search the most northwestern bookcase to find it. Read the book. When complete, teleport to Falador. Run north out of Falador to the Goblin Village. Once there, talk to General Bentnose or General Wartface who is located in the northernmost building. When prompted say, have you heard of the Dorgashin? It doesn't really matter. Well either way they refuse to fight. Well I found a brooch underground. And, well, why not show me both greeting? They will teach you the goblin victory dance and bow emotes. Afterwards, you'll want to go back to the Lumbridge Castle. Once there, talk to the Duke again.
When prompted, say, I spoke to the generals in the goblin village. He will want you to investigate the caves more, so go back into the basement of the castle and squeeze through the hole again. If you haven't already, go into the description below and open up the maps. Look for the tunnel system map. This will be key for the next part of the quest. You are currently located at the bottom left corner of the map. You must make your way through the tunnel system following the red line. If you fail to follow the path, either a rock will fall on you, or you will fall through a trapdoor and end up in the Lumbridge Swamp Caves. Once you have made it to the end of the tunnels, talk to Mistag. He is located just to the east. Then, go into your emotes and select the Goblin Bow. After the conversation, talk to him again and ask, Can you show me the way out of the mines? This will bring you close to the Lumbridge Castle basement. Go back up to the second floor of the castle and talk to the Duke. When prompted, say, I've made contact with the cave goblins. Afterwards, pickpocket Sigmund. You should receive a key. Then walk into the room just to the south with the spinning wheel in it. Use the key on the chest in the room to find ham robes. Talk to the Duke. When prompted, say, did you know Sigmund is a member of Ham? The Duke will need some more evidence on Sigmund, so you'll have to go to the Ham hideout. Exit the castle and walk northwest to the hideout. Once there, right-click on the trapdoor and select the pick lock option. If you fail to open it, keep trying. Climb down when it unlocks. Open the only crate that is in this room and you should find some silverware. When you have it, use a lumber to teleport and head back to the Duke. Talk to him and say, I found the missing silverware in the ham cave. The Duke will give you a peace treaty for the Dorgashin to sign. Go back into the Lumberge Castle basement and squeeze through the hole. This time around, the Goblin Kazgar will be nearby. Right-click on him and use the Follow option to make your way through the cave. Once there, talk to Mistag. A cutscene will occur and you will have finished the quest. Congratulations, you have received one quest point, 3,000 mining experience, Ring of Life, and access to Dorgishan Mines. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.